What's up guys? Welcome back to the Cullico YouTube channel where we do all things fabrication, engineering, and design. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to TIG weld aluminum or aluminum. On the table here, we've got a little fuel cell that we're going to weld up today, water jetted out of eighth inch wall aluminum. We're going to cover the equipment I use, all of the machine settings, and some of the processes and techniques when you're actually welding the material. So let's start with our torch setup. I'm going to be running a number eight cup with a 332nd 2% serrated tungsten, sharpened to a point initially and pulled out about a quarter inch. Let's move to the machine. We're gonna be using a Miller Dynasty 210. For this eighth inch aluminum, we're gonna to wanna to be on AC, of course, and I'm gonna set the amps right at about 125. We're gonna set the CFH at about 15 through that number eight cup. Okay, let's dive in here. We're gonna be using ER5356 filler rod 330 seconds thick for this eighth inch aluminum. As you can see, we've got a series of edge joints around the perimeter of the fuel cell, and then we've got a couple lap joints on top. Before we start welding here, I'll just show you a little close up of this part. I wanted to tell you guys that my aim with this part is gonna be to weld the entire seam without any start and stops. When you have these long, straight joints like this, aluminum looks so nice when you can rip the whole thing without stopping. Then the pattern remains consistent on the whole weld seam. So what that means is our positioning is gonna have to be really important. We're gonna have to get set up just right and we're gonna choke way up on the filler rod like this and start back and we're gonna start, you know, filling it in and you want to make sure that you've got enough filler in your hand to make it all the way to the end of the joint. So your positioning and getting comfortable is going to be very important when you're doing these long runs. Sometimes when I'm doing this, I just want to, I'll do like a run through with my hands to make sure that I'm going to be comfortable when I get to the end. You know, make sure your wrist can rotate that way. It's important when you're doing these long rips. To be counting to keep my cadence consistent. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> too bad. I would say that I'm running my tungsten about an eighth inch to three sixteenths off the material uh, when I'm welding and try and keep it right in that range. Another thing I wanted to mention earlier um, that I forgot, one important thing about aluminum, very important, is your material needs to be very clean. I DA'd this material before I started and acetoned it all up. You want to make sure that your material is clean. I'm sorry I forgot to mention that um, because if there's any contaminants in the aluminum, um, it really shows up in the weld. You can tell it'll get this sort of black or gray film in the weld when you're actually welding it. So make sure that you prep your material, you can scotch brite it or DA it and acetone it really well. So I wanted to mention that. Let's do another rip here. You're gonna get comfortable, you're gonna breathe, you're gonna count, and you're gonna do this whole rip in one seam. Remember, you're gonna do a test run with your hands to make sure that you're positioned well and that your torch can make the run and you're not constricted. Choke up on your rod plenty. At the beginning it can be tricky because 
it'll be kind of shaky on you, but as you start filling it in and the rod gets shorter, you can get more precise with it. So all of our perimeter edge joints are done and we're gonna weld these four lap joints on top, but I'm trying to think of ways that I can bring you guys value with this video in terms of the actual welding process. Um, aluminum is unique and as you guys practice with it, um, obviously you'll get better of course, but you'll start to understand how it welds a little different than steel alloys and titanium and stuff. The weld pool is kind of softer and bigger and you know I guess if I could think of one specific thing right now to tell you guys is make sure you're you know dipping straight into the puddle you don't want to slide off into the front because um, aluminum is susceptible to balling up on the end like this like you need to kind of dab right into the puddle there um, and not slide it in like I say so it doesn't ball up on the end on you. Um, aluminum will do that. today's video aluminum can be a lot of fun to work with and I encourage you to just dive in and start practicing it's really important to keep it clean so prep it well acetone keep it free of contaminants I appreciate you guys watching today I hope you're able to learn something and we'll see you next time on the Cully Co YouTube channel see you later